It is 1141 and the meeting will return to order. Because of the way in which we postponed the motion on its uh, multiple nominations, is the nominee, right? diversity. nominee diversity, yes, the nominee diversity, um, it now comes up next because it was a postponed relative to E Pluribus Hugo unless there is some motion to rearrange the agenda further. Let me get my agenda passed. So that's, uh, get to my agenda rather. Is there a member? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, come to the, uh, yes, for, uh, I was going to say, what, for what purpose does the member rise? Come to the microphone and state then. Eric Schulman, uh, I move oh. that we consider four of six next, since it has many of the same uh, issues as E Pluribus Hugo. Got it. I'll be right with you, just a second here. I apologize there, but I, my copy of the revised setup, that you can't, you have one or you will, but I have to have my copy in front of me in the right order or, or we get completely lost. Uh, it has been moved and seconded to suspend the rules and take up four and six next. This is not debatable. All those in favor of suspending the rules to take up four and six next, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. Uh, in the opinion of the chair, two thirds being the affirmative. Uh, the rules are suspended, and we will now move to B11, 4 and 6. And I will move my own agenda around and then read it back. All right, hold on. Give me a second. That's B11. Okay. This motion has 12 minutes of debate time assigned to it. And for what member, I haven't even read the motion. It's not even on the floor yet. For what purpose does the member rise? Yeah, I, I have to read the motion before it's, it's not even on the floor yet. Okay, just a second. Let's see. Moved to amend the WSFIS Constitution to reduce the number of nominations each member can make in each category to increase the number of finalists appearing on the final ballot and to correct related references to the number of nominations per member by striking out and adding words. As worded, this would reduce the number of nominations each member can make in each category from the existing five to four. It would, in, for, uh, for what, I mean, I'm not going to, uh, people raise their hands, I'm not going to recognize you. It would increase the number of finalist positions in each category from the existing five to six. This was re referred, yeah, have I got it right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. okay, thank you. The Committee of the Whole considered this and made a recommendation that we consider various other possible combinations of number of fi uh, number of nominee positions and number of finalist slots by the method of filling blanks, which is how we adopt debate time limits. The chair thinks this is a good idea. Is there any objection to, uh, to going through that now, of, of working out, the, of taking up the numbers of possibilities? Mr. Quinn. Point of order. Just, would, would, you would the member come to the mic and state his point of order? I believe it's probably a parliamentary inquiry, but let's find out. I, I'm sorry, uh, parliamentary inquiry. Would we do one first and then the other, and if, if so, which would we do first? Okay, that's what I'm trying to explain, Mr. Quinn. I'm trying to give you the process. The method of filling blanks, uh, the, the two items are the, the four and the six in the original proposal, they're intertwined. It is not really f feasible to treat them as separate entities. It wouldn't make any sense. We have to treat each combination. After discussion with the parliamentarian and the other members of the head table staff, I know this sounds bad, but it, the more I thought about it, the better it sounded is to take the ratio, hang in there, bear with us, the ratio between the two 
For example, currently five and five is a ratio of one. Four and six is six finalists to four nominations. In a decreasing order, that is the largest number downward. The, the parliamentarian will collect up all of the possible combinations of nominations and finalist slots and then sort them in descending ratio order. And, we, and he will make that screen larger so you can read it. <laughs> and then we will vote on them one at a time. The, each of the possibilities is a yes-no question. You vote on them independently. The first one to get a majority in, a, in favor of it is the one that fills the blank, and we do not consider any of the smaller ones, or the ones beyond that. For what purpose does the member rise? And if you are rising, you need to come to the microphone to answer that question about what purpose the member rises for. Uh, Eric Shulman, Parliamentary Inquiry. Uh, I wish to ask how I would propose to do it in ascending order instead of descending order. Okay, the chair has says uh, that there is no, there's nothing implicit in it, uh, and therefore the chair simply gave a preference. The member has moved to consider them in ascending order uh, rather than descending order. Is there a, is there a second? Thank you. All those in favor of considering the ratios in ascending order from smallest to largest, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed and want the larger, the larger to smallest. The chair believes the uh, negative has it. The negative has it. The motion is not adopted. For what purpose does the member rise, Mr. Da Todd Dashoff? Parliamentary inquiry. The member will state his parliamentary inquiry. Ashraf, uh, may I direct this to, all right, never mind. Mr. Chairman, I have a question of your explanation. Are you saying that you will start, you will group all of them uh, by their ratio and start from the largest B value? No. no, the ratio between the two, like six divided by four, five divided by three, and so forth. If more than one suggestion is the same ratio? For the same ratio, is that considered the number of final, The number of finalist positions is the tiebreaker. Okay. There is, I don't think you can get to the second order tiebreaker mathematically. Not, not where I was going. <laughs> if you're, and then if you're going to take them by the ratios and, therefore, and then by the B within the ratios, you may not get to a particular combination with a lower ratio that a membership might prefer. That, that's could correct. I, I'm, could I offer an amendment that says we pick one from each ratio and then reconsider? You can. Is there a second to the member's motion? There being no second, the motion is not on the floor. Thank you. Okay. All right. Once again, the chair intends to take group to order these by their ratio. And the tiebreaker, if there are two with the same ratio, is the number of finalist slots. For what purpose does the mis member rise? Mr. Quinn. Jameson Quinn, I would like to uh, move that we use two minutes of the pre-scheduled debate time after the numbers have been proposed to, to discuss this uh, matter, because I believe there are issues that were, were, are worthy of discussion. Not too much time, but a little bit. Is that to consider all the various numbers before we vote on them, or are you just dealing with the debate after we filled it? I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to actually... Yeah. Uh, this is a, the, member is, you want, the member wants to reserve debate time. I don't to, want to reserve debate time. Wait, no, 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 not for himself. You want us to have debate time on the substantive issue after we have filled the blanks. No, I want to have it before we fill the blanks. You want to debate the various yeah. blank filling. You want two minutes of debate for people to speak on various combinations they favor. That is correct. Or okay, there's that. No, no, just the, 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 all right. I mean, the, the member is a. Yeah, you're not speaking into the mic. You're I'm speaking sorry. to me. So, uh, yes. The, okay, I'll let me state the motion. I believe the member is moving that once we have all of the possible nominations, that we have two minutes of debate for members to discuss the general subject before we vote on any of the values to discuss the blank. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Is there a second to the member's motion? 
Second. All those in favor of reserving two minutes of debate in that way, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. Hands down, there's more than two thirds. That, that, then there will be two minutes of debate once we get to them. Just a moment, you won't get. That two minutes comes out of the master debate time. Yeah, I think the, the parliamentarian is asked to uh, express an opinion that the chair concurs with uh, regarding how, if we, whatever we adopt, if we adopt this whole thing, how the question of ratification would be dealt with and what would constitute a lesser change. Uh, Mr. Trying, Reeslake. Trying to be real quick, assuming uh, this amendment with some numbers is passed, the question is next year for ratification will it be in order to amend it. And the answer is it would be in order, in my opinion, to amend either of the two numbers to be closer to the current value of five. So that uh, the number of nominations people are allowed, whether smaller or larger than five, next year it would be in order at ratification time to move it closer to five and some integer number, and similarly for ballot slots. So for example, if four and six were specifically adopted, either one could be changed back to five next year. And that would and constitute. And the ratification would still be effective because the Constitution provides that things are adopted to the extent that they are ratified, so they can be made a lesser change next year. All right, lots of more parliamentary inquiries. Uh, yes, you, yes, sir. I'm sorry, you need to come to the microphone. Oh, and the chair rather expects when we actually get through this that we will have to reset the debate time anyway if we're going to get any substantive debate at all. So, Ari Goldstein, I'd actually like to uh, amend by addition to add a sunset clause to the... To the no, wait, wait, stop. The member's motion is not in order. We are dealing with the... There is an implicit blank in the motion right now that we need to deal with. At such time after the blank has been filled, a motion to amend by inserting anything, including a sunset clause, would be in order. Thank you. That, yeah, you yeah. Um, so Ms. Olson, but before I recognize you, I have a question. Go ahead, come on up. I need to talk to the secretary for a second. Okay, Ms. Olson. Priscilla Olson, and um, since the chair, okay, Priscilla Olson, since the chair had, uh, um, when giving examples, said things like six to four and five to four and stuff like that, I want to clarify, I believe the actual ratio we're going to look at in the order is nominations to um, um, uh, voting slots, uh, voting places, so it'd be four to six and three to five that the ratio is, is actually going to be. Uh, actually, no, no. The question was, what is the ratio? The ratio is the number of ballot slots to nominations. The example that is on the board is six ballot slots to four nominations, which is the default already in the motion, is a ratio of 1.5. Ah, but, but the slide is backwards, therefore we're all using it differently. No, the chair is not going to change this because the language of the motion lists it in that way. Four and six, but okay, it is, so the ratio is actually six to four when calculated. So the higher the ratio is, I just want to, for people who are too tired to, for math right now, um, the higher the ratio is, that means the more ballot slots to the fewer number of nominations, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, that's correct. That's an You're example. You're going to be voting in... Um, Descending, Descending order. order, the largest ratio is what would be the first. Gotcha. Are there any further inquiries? Uh, yes? Mr. Desjardins. Stephen Desjardins, this may be a dumb question, but will the fill in the blanks procedure change the title of the amendment as well as the text? <laughs> um, no, it's not real. No, truthfully, it's not a dumb question. It's, it, is, it, is, it is a technical issue involved. The titles of motions do not re reflect a substantive part of their motion. The secretary will uh, reassign a, a title to it more in keeping of whatever we actually adopt, should we adopt anything. Thank you. A question of privilege from the chairman of next year's meeting, I think. Speaking as the chair of next year's meeting, We'll call it whatever's in the slots, just so that everybody's clear on that. 
It won't be four and six if it's not four and six. Right. Okay. We won't do. You have another inquiry. You have a, you have an inquiry over there, sir. Come to the microphone. Just a just a hint. Somebody who gets the floor could make a nomination to fill the blank. And I'll get. I, I want to. Once he has finished speaking, I'm going to address the way we fill the blank by ch the choices. Go ahead. Name. Lincoln Kleiman. Uh, would an or, uh, motion to table the motion? Uh... Okay. Yes. Do you say you want to lay the motion on the table? Yes. Um, it is in order. I mean, a motion to lay the to, uh, a mo motion to lay this on the table, which would set there until such time as we voted to pick it up off the table, is in order. Is there a second? Okay. A two-thirds vote. A two-thirds vote being necessary to lay this motion on the table. Oh, for what purpose does the member rise? A parliamentary inquiry. You may not ask why. Okay. This is not a debatable motion. I'll take the inquiry. Ms. Secor. Kate Secor, my question is, since we established yesterday that we can't recess until we have addressed this issue, if we lay it on the table, does the debate that we've already had count as substantive enough addressing of the issue that we could adjourn without picking it back up off the table? Or would we be forced to pick I, it back I up? I understand the question. Um, Addressing the question means that the question came before the assembly. The assembly has it before it. It does not have to actually vote on it. At this point, it has now addressed the subject it, because it is on the floor before us. If this motion is laid upon the table and the meeting adjourns, it will die. A two-thirds vote being necessary to lay the motion on the table. All those in favor of laying the proposal four and six on the table, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed, hands down. There being less than two-thirds, the motion is still before us with the blank. Now, I want to get back to what I was saying. This is, we do the debate time limits fairly informally with people just calling out from the audience. We are not going to do that here. I'm going to do it the, sorry. All right. No, no, I'm not gonna hit him. I have to work with him next year. I'm trying to encourage him, okay? I will have to start somewhere. All of you were young once, too. Nah. <laughs> Not Ben Yellow. Please, please. <laughs> I love you, Ben. I know, folks. I know. It's fun, but, you know, it is, it is the fifth. It is day five. Come on. All right. Thanks. Okay. Each member has the right but not the obligation <laughs> to suggest one and only one, or zero if you wish, possibilities. The chair will not consider any fractional amounts or any numbers less than one. Basically, positive integers only. The other things are frivolous and will not be in order. Each member who wishes to make a suggestion needs to gain recognition. And the motion to close nominations is in order when you have the floor, uh, which has, requires a two-thirds vote to close nominations. Very well, if there are no further inquiries, we will begin suggesting possibilities. The original of four and six is on the floor. I think the parliamentarian can now take the example down, because I don't want to confuse things further. <laughs> All right. Who would like to make a suggestion, Mr. Caswell? In fact, actually, you know, this might this one is such simple. Do we? Uh, this one might work better if we just go ahead and move a microphone. Or, in fact, I'll tell you what. I'll try and recognize the person and have them sing out, and I will try and repeat the result. That might go faster, Mr. Caswell. Three and five. Three and five. Wait, it gets in. All right, uh, Mr. Stevens. Five and eight. Five and eight. Everybody's going to get a chance on this one. Six and nine. Six and nine. Yes. <laughs> Two and five. I'll go over to the other side. Over here. Yes. Poker. Never mind. She, passed, she lost her turn. Uh, one and five. 